Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, this week we're aboard the Freelance out of Newport, at Davies Locker. And what we're doing right now, we're in our first stop. We've gotten a wide open Bonita stop. And I just threw out a bait, Magic Meadow got fit. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Bradley Smokers, when you only want the very best. By Shakespeare, manufacturers of the Ugly Stick, America's best-selling fishing rod. By Game Saver, preserve your fish, use a Game Saver. By Penn, the biggest name in fishing. Another fish going right now. Again, I'm just fishing the same outfit. Have a Magic Metal jig on there. You got a Pin International small reel, 20 pound test line, and one of my inshore Shakespeare custom sticks. Here comes mine. Get him up there, young man. There we go. Magic metal jig using one of my rods, inshore rods, the pin reel. And that's what the Bonita ate. The jigs are a great way to catch Bonita. We got some wide up, wide open action going on right now. So let's watch some of these other people get some fish. Bonita. So a couple of ways that we do this on these party boats is that the skipper is up in the wheelhouse using the sonar and the fish finder to see what's ahead and what's below us. But what we have back here, we have four lines out on trolling rods, trolling small feathers, and we're going about nine knots. So what they're trying to do is see if there's any Bonita swimming around in schools. And it's exactly what we do offshore fishing for the tuna. Same technique, and we'll even have offshore have people up on top in the crow's nest and stuff with binoculars looking for cow patties looking for breaking fish so the skipper is using his electronics he's looking for fish breaking on surface birds diving and this is how we look for the fish helping him out using the trolling rod so there's four guys back here all on the trolling rods and once we get bit on those trolling rods you'll start hearing screams of hook up fish on you know hook up like that the skipper will put the boat in neutral We'll slide to the stop, and as we slide the stop, you'll see everybody grab their rods and reels, come back here to the back of the boat, side of the boat, and cast out. Thank you. 
Calvin. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right. In this jig right up on the surface, grinding it up, and this is a huge bonita. It looks like a tuna, well, it is part of the tuna family, but this is a bonita, just a gorgeous wow. fish. Look at that fish. fish. Coming That's out great. The well, let's take a little break from the action here and visit the tackle box and show you, give you good information on what we're using for the gear today out here. Just beautiful fishing here. All right, we'll be right back. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by Cabela. America's foremost outfit. This week in Tackle Box, we're going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing in this week's episode. You know, we're fishing along the beach, looking for schooling fish. There's a lot of bonita in the area, and the way I like to target bonita, you know, especially when they're biting the artificials, is my favorite way is a poly jig. This is a Magic Metal MM7. It has rattles in it and a couple of weights in there. So not only will it go side to side, but also roll a little bit as it rattles, and it really attracts the fish, drives them crazy. What's neat about these jigs is as you work them toward the surface, the bonita will come down below, strike them, and often we'll see them flip out of the water as they bite the jigs. I tell you, there's nothing more exciting than watch the fish strike the bait. And these are what the jigs look like in your local tackle store. The MM7 is a bigger one, the MM5 is a smaller bait, but these are perfect for this type of fishing. Now another jig you can use if the fish are holding a little bit deeper sometimes the bonita will like to be deeper because they're part of the tuna family. You know it's hard to think of a bonita as a tuna but it is part of the same family. If you can go down a little bit deeper for them. This is an MM2. This is a two and a quarter ounce. What's great about this you just cast it out long distance, let it sink ways and these you want to wind back faster. You're going to dart these back toward the boat not as fast as you can, but a nice fast speed, faster than medium, and it's going to dart back and those bonita come back and chase it. So if they're down deep, fish the Magic Metal, the MM2s, if they're up on the surface, Magic Metal lights. Now as far as a rod and reel, what's great about both these jigs is you can fish them on a smaller, lighter rod like this. This is a Dan Hernandez signature rod made by Shakespeare. It's an ugly stick custom rod. It's got a trigger stick so you can make those long casts. And this is perfect for this type of fishing. Traditionally, when you think of a jig like this, you're thinking a nine to 10 foot custom rod with a much larger reel than I have here, filled with 30 or 40 pound test line. But because we're using the Magic Metal Light Poly Jig, we can get away with a reel like this, a Pin International 975, filled with 20 pound test line. With the MM5, you can even go down to 15 pound test line. And because it's got the level wind on there, it just makes it perfect for this type of fishing. Just wind it in nice and easy. You don't have to move the line in, you know, manually. The reel does all the work for you. And what's nice about having this particular rod, Dan Hernandez rod, inshore model, is that if you do want to go to bucktails or you do want to go to live bait, you can use the same outfit. You don't have to bring five or six different rods or you don't have to switch to a whole different rig. You can just tie off and tie a hook on there and you're ready to go. Again, look for these jigs in your local store, Magic Metal 7s, Magic Metal 5s, the Dan Hernandez rods are available everywhere, and always check our website to find out locations and f buy a lot of these products. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. All right, I want to show you the jigs I'm using. I was using the, the heavier jigs earlier. This is a light jig. This is the MM7, it's got rattles in it. And what I'm doing is just throwing this out, let it sink a little bit, and then winding it right back. So I'll just show you how I'm doing this. Just toss this out in the corner, make sure it's clear. Get it way out there. And you just let it sink. You just count to like five. So that's two, three, four, five. And then all I do is put it in gear. Here we go. For this Benita, I'm moving the jig a little bit faster than I would if I was Barracuda or Calico Bass fishing. Get it back about halfway. 
and then just stop it. Put in free spool, let it fall again, and as it flutters down, then I'll start winding it back in. These fish are just swimming around us. So just like being on a tuna fishing trip, except we're really close to the beach, and you know we're fishing for bonito. We're not fishing for yellowfin tuna or bluefin tuna, bonito, which are the bottom of the chain of the tuna family. But they're a lot of fun to catch. They're just a lot of fun to catch. Okay, here's the fish I got right here. This is a magic metal light. Okay, go ahead. You got tangled up some loose lines. This is a magic metal light jig, fishing right up on the surface. Just showing different ways to catch bonita today. Caught them on live bait. We caught them magic metal heavy jigs down deep. And this fish was right up on the top. Pretty cool. Too heavy. <laughs> there we go. It was just too heavy. Another bonita. And <laughs> thanks. Magic metal light jig, MM7. It's a great jig for barracuda, as you can see for bonita fishing too. And all I, the trick to this was just let the jig sink to about count of five to seven and then work it right back and the fish just came up and ate it. Just a beautiful fish. This will taste delicious. Well let's just take a little break from the action here aboard the Freelance and go to the galley and show you how to cook up a beautiful bonita like this. We'll be right back. This week the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez Baja style fish batter and dipping sauces. This week in the galley, I want to talk to you a little bit about smoking fish. You know, lots of times people, they just get intimidated about smoking fish. I tell you, it's one of the easiest things to do. And today aboard the Freelance, we're catching bonita, and bonita is one of the best fish to smoke. You know, it's related to the tuna family, and it smokes up really well. These are some of the bonita that we're catching today's episode. This is what it looks like on the inside. And this is, we have the skin still on it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make our brine. Now, the whole key to smoking is having a good system. And what we're using is the Bradley Smoker system. They have their own brine, really easy to use. You just mix it with water. So I already have a bowl here with 10 cups of water. And what we're gonna do is add a quarter and one full cup of the brine. And we just put this right inside the water. Okay, so we have a quarter cup already inside the container with the water. Now we need a full cup Put a full cup in there. Now we have our brine and water. That's all we have in this solution right now. And you just got to mix this up really well so there's all diluted in there. And at this point, all we have to do now is add the fish. So I'm just going to grab a piece of fish. This is our bonita. I'm going to leave the skin on there. 
I know a lot of people like to smoke without skin. Uh, it doesn't bother me to have the skin on there. So I got the fish in here. Now that we have our fish in the brine, all you want to do is put this in the refrigerator. Now you want to have it in there at least for a few hours, but it wouldn't hurt anything if you left the fish in the brine overnight. Another critical part of the whole Bradley smoker system are the brochettes, and this is what they look like. And they come in different flavors. We have hickory, we have maple there. And the one we're using right now is the maple. And all you do is you just take these, open them out of the package, and you drop them right into the smoker. There's a little feeder there, and it loads it, and takes it right in the smoker. And as they burn off, they drop into the bowl in the water. Okay, we got all the briskets, everything's loaded. The only thing left to do now is drop in our fish. Remember, at home, you'd want to have that fish sit in the brine at least for a few hours. Overnight would be safe, it'd be fine. The last thing is, as you pull the fish to put it in the smoker, make sure there's no big chunks of brine on it. Here it's nice and clean. So we're going to go ahead and slide out one of the trays and drop our fish right inside there. I'm going to put the skin on the bottom onto the tray, just like that. Just lay it all the way across. I'm just going to close that. Again, we preheated our smoker, our Bradley smoker, so it's all ready to go. And that's all there is to it. You know, a lot of people get intimidated on smoking fish or any sort of meats. I tell you, it's a very simple process to do. You use the whole Bradley smoker system. You get the brine, the briskets, the smoker, you're all good to go. Well, all we're going to do now is wait two hours. An hour and a half to two hours is recommended cooking time. We'll wait the full two hours, and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we've had the Vanita inside the smoker for two hours now, so it's all ready. Let's open it up and take a look at it. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. There's our Bonita, all smoked up. And all I'm going to do here is just take a little bite. Grab a piece. Oh, look at the color of that fish. That's awesome. Very simple process. Use the brine, drop the fish in here, and you're good to go. Just a great way to smoke up some fish, nice and easy. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting fishing action aboard the Freelance right here on Sport Fishing. For those of you that are brand new to the sport, spinning rod's a good way to get started. I'm just going to show you here. It's all the same technique. You wind down, lift up. Doesn't matter what kind of gear you're using. Yeah. There he is. Nice bonita. Nice big bonita. One of my bigger ones of the day. There we go. This is a, what we got. Nice big bonita. You can see the gear we're using. Just a spinning reel, Fluger spinning reel. Dan Hernandez custom rod and made by Shakespeare. There's a Red Eagle claw hook right there. Just want to show you that even nice size bonita like this, you can get with the spinning gear. It's no problem. This week, the Boat Bio is brought to you by Penn, manufacturing America's best fishing rig. The Freelance is a large sport fisher that operates daily out of Davies Locker in Newport, California. She's a very big boat, has large bait tanks that carry plenty of live bait, the wheelhouse has the most modern electronics for navigation and fish finding, and she hosts one of the largest galleys out of any sport boat in Southern California. Her deck is very big and there's plenty of deck space for all the anglers to do their fishing. For your next fishing charter, book a trip aboard the Freelance out of Davies Locker.
This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today catching all these bonita. You know, when those fish came up foaming in the corners, the great way to catch those fish is with an artificial. Now the two that I used today was the Magic Metal Jigs, the MM2s, and also the Light Jigs, the MM7s right up on the surface when the fish were on top. But if you're new to fishing artificials, the MM2 is a great jig to use. You just cast it out, you only let it sink for about a count of three, and you grind it back in. This is a reel I was using today. It's a Penn International reel with one of my Dan Hernandez rods. And like I said, the hot tip would be to use a magic metal jig like this, an MM2. Blue and white was good, macro was good. Chrome cut a lot of fish today too. Well, that's this week's tip of the week. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.